Alright guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to install ROM. Uh, it's called a Cyanogen Mod uh, 7. It's the easiest way to do it and I'm going to show you how to do it. First off, you're going to have to have your phone rooted. Uh, what you're going to do is go to the marketplace. Okay, from here from the market you're going to have to search ROM manager. Manager. Okay. And then, uh, of course, this is a premium version. Um, you just go to ROM Manager. Uh, mine's already installed, by the way, so just open it, install it. Alright. So basically, that's what you have to do. Um, open it when you're done. Okay. And first off, you're going to have to uh, go to this. Uh, it's called, uh, it says Flash Clock wor uh, Work Mod Recovery. You click on that. It's just going to confirm your, your phone model, of course. So, mine's Evo. Click on that. And it's successfully flash. Because so, I already have it on there, but here's probably going to take a little longer. So, after you do that, what you're going to check is go for download ROM. Okay, and, and there's plenty of ROM. So, this is basically a, a tutorial on how to install Santa Gen Mod, which is this one which is the best one out there I, b I believe um, 4G works on it everything um, so let's get to it uh, Cyanogen mod so you go on it there's all the versions you can see here so you just click the first one okay you just click download you see the comments there and um, I guess you, you can click Google Apps uh, this, what this does is um, It'll install Google Search. Every once you install the ROM, it'll install Google Search. Um, all those Google apps. You click OK. And what you want to do is wipe the uh, data cache, and then you can back up your existing ROM just in case you don't like it. You just come back to it. So press OK. It'll reboot. Um, there's been other tutorials on how to do this. Um, I think this is the easiest and most simple way to do it, uh, I believe, you know, and um, a lot of people have you go through uh, like the reboot menu or the, how to put it, the uh, H-boot menu and uh, do that, but you don't need to do that, I don't think, I mean, this is what I did and this is what it worked, this is what it's going to say, it's just going to say um, installing and backing up everything right now, so just let it do that right now. It'll take a little while. And basically, the other ways they do it is uh, you have to download files on the computer and then, you know, uh, use your phone as a disk drive and drag and drop those files onto it. Then you go to the HBoot menu and re run recovery, and you have to install them from there. But um, this what this does uh ROM manager is basically just does it for you. So all you have to do is download the ROM that you want or you want to check out and um it'll do it for you. So this is what it's doing, it's installing the or oh, is that actually backing up the system right now. So once it this is finished, uh I'll go ahead and start the video again. Alright, so it's almost done here. And um just pretty much finishing up here so from this point on um, like I said that ROM manager does pretty much everything for you um, you don't have to go through the hassle of uh, using the your USB cable and connecting it to your computer and dragging and dropping you know using your phone as a disk drive and doing all that crazy stuff um, so yeah you just wait here uh, it's just finishing up this Of course, it uh it was backing up the last ROM, so which is the H HTC Sense. That way, if you don't like your ROM, you always revert back to it, and I'll show you at the end of this video how to do that. And the good thing about this ROM, uh, the CD7, which is the what we're installing the ROM, um, 
it, everything works on it. I mean, 4G, you don't have problems with your camera, you don't have problems with anything. It's pretty much, you know, just uh, the best of the best out there right now. So this is complete, and now it's installing the Cyanogen mod 7, which is the ROM. It's just installing everything right now. Okay. Well, hopefully this doesn't take long. If it does, I'll, I'll edit this part out. Okay, well, I'm going to edit this out. It's going to take a while here, so... Uh, oh, there we go. It's doing something. Um, it's installing the Google Apps and everything. Uh, my phone does this. Uh, your phone will probably won't do it. If it does, uh, it's okay. It's nothing. It's no big deal. It's just rebooting right now. So here we go. See, see what it did. waiting on it to reboot now I looked up a lot of videos before I did this um, and um, you know I, I downloaded after I rooted my phone I just downloaded that ROM manager app and uh, I was looking through it and see what it did and um, you know, I figured that all those videos are pretty much worthless to me because I didn't need to do that. Um, this is the simplest way to do it. So here we go. This is the new startup screen. Here you see Cyanogen Mod 7, which is the, like I said, it's the best ROM out there, in my opinion. There could be other uh, ROMs, you know, but this is the best ROM out there that allows 4G. Uh, it doesn't mess with any of your settings. I mean, you know, you, you could pretty much use it as the sense. So here we go, just wait till it boots up. Kinda cool, something different, yeah. So it says welcome. You touch the Android here. Uh this you can do, you know, on your own time. Next, pretty much just skipping everything. And here you see the HTC, uh, or I'm sorry, not the HTC. Well, this is the Evo with the Cyanogen Mod 7. It has everything. Here's a little tutorial. I just, I mean, you just click on it and it'll give you some tutorials on how to do things. Um, let me go to the menu real quick. Here, see, this is the app from Manager, by the way. Okay, and um, so this is the Sanogen Mod 7. It's nice. Uh, later I'll make a review on, on the actual app or the, the ROM, but here I'll show you just the settings real quick on the um, networks. Here you see Wi-Fi, Wi-Max, which is pretty good. Um, okay, on this one... You go back. You have uh, a lot of stuff you can do here. So here you see it. Hope you like it. You know, if you want any uh, more how-to tutorials, just go ahead and uh, comment on this video, and uh, I'll, I'll post it up and um, try and help you guys out. So this is the easiest way to do or to install the Sanogen 7 mod or Sanogen mod 7. Sorry, and. Um, that's it. That's how easy it is. By the way, um, also on the other ones, you have to install Google Apps like after you, after you to install the ROM, which is going to take forever because you don't have your Wi-Fi settings connected. Um, so yeah, this is it.